Hello everyone. So uh, let me welcome you all to my class on the uh, reading comprehension for the GRE and we'll be talking about the reading comprehension for the GRE for some time and I'll be talking about uh, these concepts which I have been developing. So it has been a, it has been uh, a long time since I uploaded any of my videos. So uh, this video would be about the reading comprehension and some of the very uh, you know those kind of things which were not made public before I'll be talking about many of the things which you might say uh, have been remained the secret so that's why this is uh, uh, a quite an interesting series so in this presentation I'm going to talk about the general areas of this uh, the reading comprehension the predefined strategy what we call of the pre knowledge and the using the power of elimination Another is the understanding of the diplomatic uh, periphery in the reading comprehension. Those are two indispensable tools that you need to have in the reading comprehension. So first of all, let's talk about let's talk about the time strategy. In the GRE it's a 30 minutes verbal case, and uh, you you have to tune in a way where you get 1.5 minutes for each RC. So that's uh, what is the strategy. Similarly, we have the uh, strategy for the GMAT, it's uh, around uh, 1.5 to 2.5 minutes. Statistically, look at the third point. Uh, three questions in five minutes, a four question RC in seven minutes. Mind you, this includes the reading and the questions as well. So this is the time that you can study these uh, time strategy things uh, of yourself also. That's, that's of course, you can do that. Now, what is reading comprehension? Let's uh, first take about the uh, word of the ETS. So it's... Uh, it's checking your understanding, insight, and discrimination, and uh, uh, most of the knowledge that is required for the reading comprehension comes from your college education and your general awareness, the way you read your newspaper, and uh, how informed you are about the things going on in the world. So, few things are very important that uh, you need to understand: the function of the word, the relationship, and uh, how, as an audience, you are taking in uh, some of the concepts when you are reading them. So let's start with uh, the important points that's going to help you a lot. The clues here are the transition words. But what's important is that you need to understand many of the topics beforehand. All right, so uh, what's reading comprehension in GMAT? It's understanding of statements and word in the reading passages. Deriving a logical relationship between them and inferring what is being uh, told. Uh, we are going to talk about them, about this inference part. So. Let's uh, first talk about the areas of the RC. Now, why am I telling this? Because there are some topics which are highly preferred by the ETS for the GRE. And uh, never before in uh, there, uh, there is somebody who has put down the list of the topics which are highly preferred by the GRE. Everybody knows that, okay, it, it comes from broad category, but which are those categories uh, uh, which makes in the reading comprehension database. So let's uh, let's uh, give you those list of categories. So these are the 27 categories of pre-knowledge uh, that's going to help you immensely in your GRE preparation because uh, the reading comprehension will come down to these 27 categories. We are going to solve each uh, category and we are going to look at each type of reading comprehension in our upcoming video lecture series. So for now I am just uh, talking about the 27 areas so these are the 27 areas and you can join me in my class sessions to prepare more on them so GRE for the CAT, the IIM CAT, it's an Indian exam they are mostly on economics, psychology, financial jobs, biology and technology so if you are studying the IIM CAT then you have to take a different approach so what's most important in the reading comprehension it's your ability to concentrate so just get in and understand the importance of meditation and yoga to keep your mind stable during the exam. If you get diverted, if you think of something else, if you are on the nerves, if you if you get distracted, if you become unstable, if you are uh, you know distracted during the exam, then uh, you're going to lose buddy. So uh, just uh, focus on the yoga and the meditation techniques as well to improve your concentration. Now. The first important part here to solve the questions would be the diplomatic language because all of the information in the reading comprehension is kept in a, uh, in a way it is uh, encrypted into this diplomatic language tense so nothing is going to be told in the direct way. So diplomatic language is something which you should understand, which you should learn to use, how to use the words when you are uh, criticizing somebody, how to use uh, 
contradiction how to use all these aspects uh, in your language that's called the diplomatic language so there are some strategies said we are going to talk more on them and uh, let me skip through and talk about the main things of course uh, you can join my class where i talk in depth about all these uh, strategies but the important word for our series is taking the words which are called the triggering or the pivotal words so you should understand the meaning of uh, the pivotal and the triggering words they are but however although except to talk at length the pivotal words uh, could be mood words counter evident words they could be transition words so the triggering uh, words could be of many types so you have to be very careful they could be adjective words as well so you have to be very careful while uh, getting on these triggering words because they actually change the direction and they are the big big hints in the rc now one important aspect with most of uh, which most of us don't take into consideration is that we can biologically by practice you know just like uh, in the gym we go to increase our muscles uh, or to get fit or to increase our stamina likewise we have to work on the eye movement point 1 point 2 no lip and no voice reading because you read by the eye and the brain there is no function of lip movement or voice in your reading so if you are speaking and reading uh, that's a hindrance for you varying your speed here and there of course that's the way life goes you have to vary your speed you have to keep the urgency you have to maintain the same energy level throughout your uh, reading comprehension and uh, developing an insight from your pre knowledge so this is uh, the more details are given in the book how to read better and faster you can of course check that out now uh, you have to keep yourself in author's position and understand how author behaves in a very diplomatic way where he's trying to convince you on something which is uh, which is a very important topic whether it be global warming or all of those so putting yourself in author's place exchanging the chair and sitting on that side is important and uh, in my class i also use about uh, these advanced techniques uh, about how to interpret the kind of uh, reading comprehension some of the points which i would like to point out uh, in this slide is the yin yang words which are also called the triggering words and the power of elimination which is the most powerful tool now if you are to take something from this class just remember these three words power of elimination that you can take in from this class you must know how to use the power of elimination it's all about the game if you were to become the world champion then you have to pass the power of elimination it's the ww elimination chamber so that's the only way in becoming the world champion so uh, that's the most important thing of today's presentation we are going to talk about business judgment and most aspects so this is a war and uh, you you win if you do the reading comprehension right so this is what we are looking at so uh, for joining in the more details where i expand on each points so you can join in my class and uh, uh, i'll talk about greek mythology in one class so and we practice in the class during the Uh, using the three step method let me talk about the three step method which is a very powerful method and i have seen many student benefiting so what's this three step method the first point while reading read the first line of each paragraph three times deploy your mind to get idea about the passage from your pre knowledge and stress on the triggering or the yin yang words see these three are the most important aspects of uh, how you are going to read your reading comprehension now when we come to solving the question the poe the power of elimination the understanding of diplomatic language the not too broad not too specific and use of scratch paper for the questions we have these aspect for for the reading part we have these three points so uh, for actually applying these passages uh, i am going to upload some videos or you can join in my classes as well my classes goes on online at uh, and you can check out those things from my website so you can practice with me my domain is online classes.nanotechbiz.org so you can join in my classes let me repeat about my classes it's a free gre gmat class.com so of course it's free it's for gre gmat class so you can join in my classes and thank you all for being in this presentation i talked about uh, some of the aspects in very brief maybe in the upcoming time i'll upload uh, a, a lecture of 10 minutes maybe on each and every slide uh, so thank you for watching this very small video i hope you liked it and uh, If you have any doubts you can email me or you can join my long sessions of 2 hour class uh, which goes on uh, each weekend sometimes uh, on each weekdays as well so thank you for listening to this small recording best of luck for your exam guys and uh, 
I hope you get a very good score in the GRE or GMAT or whichever exam you are planning. So may God bless you and have a nice time ahead. The references, of course, the GRE parents, Nova, cracking the GMAT, how to read better and faster ETS. So I have taken the important points from all of these and condensed them into this presentation. So it's, of course, one of the uh, condensed or the, the uh, uh, the most important uh, presentation that you are ever going to check into which takes into consideration all the key points from various sources. So for details you can check out my website online classes.nanotechbiz.org or free GRHMAT class.com. So thank you for listening to this recording and best of luck for the exam.